Hello, my name is Dusan Gladovic and this is a tutorial video how to make hose clamp in SOLIDWORKS. First, we open a new file. Then from the following, we choose the first one, part. The plane that we use is front plane. Select front plane and then go to sketch. From sketch, go to circle. Draw a circle with radius of 15 millimeters. Draw one more circle with radius of 14.5 millimeters. Check it and then go to features, extruded both space and type here 10 millimeters. Check this. Go to view orientation and go to top view. Select top plane and then go to sketch. From sketch, go to center line. Draw a center line from this point here to this point here. Draw one more center line from this point here to this point here. Now go to corner rectangle. Draw a rectangle that looks like this. Now go to Smart Dimension, we will give it some dimensions. Type here 8 mm. This line will be 2 mm. From this line to this center line will be 1 mm. From this center line to this line will be 4 mm. Check it. And then go to Features. Features, extruded cut, rotate it, and, and type here 20 millimeters. Check it. And we have our first hole. Select the top plane, and then go to sketch. From sketch, go to center line, and draw a center line from the center. Exit sketch. And then go to Features, Reference Geometry and go to Axis. Select this center line here, our Sketch 3. And we have our first axis, Axis 1. Now we go to Circular Pattern. As the pattern axis, we use this, this axis, Axis 1. Click on it. Number of instances will be 24. Type here 24. Features to pattern. We pattern this cut extrude here. Click on it and check it. Now select front plane. And when front plane is selected, go to view orientation and go to back view. When you select the front plane, go to sketch and then go to center line. Draw a center line from Y and draw center line to X axis. Now go to corner re rectangle and draw a rectangle that looks like this. Go to smart dimension and we will give it some dimensions. This will be 10 millimeters. From this line to this center line, from this center line to this line here will be 12 millimeters. This line here will be 20 millimeters. And from this line to this center line here, will be 10 millimeters. Check it. And then go to features, extruded both space. In direction 1 we type 11 millimeters. In direction 2 we type 1 millimeter. So the whole extrude will be 12 millimeters. Now go to fillet. In fillet type 6 millimeters. 
this edge and this edge will be filled. Now select this side. And when it's selected, go to sketch and from sketch go to center line. Draw a center line from this point here to this point here. Now go to circle and draw a circle in the middle of this center line. Yeah, this radius will be 4 millimeters. Check it. And then go to features, extruded both space, and type here 1 millimeter. Check this. And now you select this side of Boss Extrude 3. When it's selected, you go to Sketch. From Sketch, go to Polygon. And you draw a polygon from the middle. We will give it radius of 6.5 millimeters. Check on it. Now go to Features, Extrude it both space and extrude it for 4 millimeters. Check it. Now select this side of polygon and go to sketch and go to line. Draw a line from this point to this point here. Now go to offset entities. Type here 0 0.5 millimeters. Click on this line here and check it. Now again go to offset entities. Again click on this line here. Just go reverse and click on it. Now the sketch go to line to close this sketch here. Here line and we need here line. Now we go to trim entities. Trim to closest must be selected. We trim this line here. Check it. And then go to features, extruded cut, and type here 1.5 millimeters. Check it. Now for then we will give it some appearance. Go to appearance and metal aluminium and give it appearance polished aluminium. And we have our hose clamp in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching.